All right, guys, in this one, we're going to be going over the Smiter Marine Gobble, which is the rate pulse rifle. Bungie has updated the API so we can see all the rolls. So if we just jump right into it, you can see that this thing does come with some hefty perks. Now, thing to note is that these weapons are craftable. If you form the raid, get your red borders, you'll be able to craft the exact role you want on top of the enhanced traits. Now, in these videos, I do want to go over every single thing you can look out for for both PvE and PvP. I will start with PvE. And as always, in the first two columns, go with what you would like and same as the masterwork, whatever feels good for you. This gun already is stat heavy, so take that into consideration and then just craft the way you want it. But if we take a look at the column of perks, we have Insolvable, Moving Target, Pugilist, Demolitionist, Well-Rounded, Focus Fury, and Stats for All. In the second column, we have Eye of the Storm, Gut Shot Straight, Swashbuckler, Adrenaline Junkie, Firefly, Forbo Weapon, and One for All. Now, another thing to note is that we have the Ruined Over Origin trait, so Reloading Near Allies overflows the magazine. This plays really well with a lot of the perks of this weapon. So in the first column, you have Insomnable, Pugilist, Demolitionist, Focus Fury, and Stats for All for your PvE options. In the second column, Swashbuckler, Adrenaline Junkie, Firefly, Vorpal and one for all. Now, a really unique role for PVE is things like Focus Fury and maybe one for all or even Vorpal. This is two damage dealing perks that are really easy to proc. And with Ruin It Over, you can pretty much get a huge magazine to easily proc the Focus Fury. And now you have two damage bonuses going at on something like a mage or something if you pair with Vorpal. These are two 20% damage increases. So you'll be able to do a lot of damage with a primary weapon to a champion. Obviously, things like Wolf Rock work really well with that. In reality, most of the time, you're using your primary weapons for at clear. So that is going to revolve around things like Firefly. Firefly will not only drain an explosion, but this will also give you a bunch of reload speed. You can pair Firefly with things like Demolitionist if you do have a grenade-based build, which would be really good for getting your grenades back. Or even if you're playing it to a melee-based build, you have things like Pugilist, so you can get a bunch of your melee energy back. A role I would go for for myself is definitely Demo and Firefly. It is very good for at clear. It's very good for getting your grenades back, which also help out with that clear because that to me is what these weapons are based around now perks like insolvable are also very unique because that pair with ruined over trait you got to be nearby allies to get this to proc insolvable will also increase your reload speed when you're nearby allies very very fun paired together i don't know if it will be the go-to for this specific weapon I, again i think just make it a solid act clear build with demo and firefly or pugilist firefly would be really really good even if you want to take damage perks like adrenaline junkie and swashbuckler you can go pugilist swashbuckler so that plays into your melee a lot or demo adrenaline junkie so that it also play into your grenade a lot and you get a bunch of damage bonuses and energy back now that is what i would take for pv and what i think you should look out for when you start to craft it but if we jump to pvp you have your perks like insolvable again moving target pugilist and demo aren't even that bad you have well-rounded and i wouldn't probably not recommend focus fury or stats for all but in the second column you have all the storm gut shot straight you know swashbuckler adrenaline junkie is not terrible firefly is even not that bad Vorpal, maybe I would miss out on, and then one for all, which is, again I would miss out on. For a PvP role, again, you have your ensemble trait. So if you're around your teammates, you get a bunch of reload speed and you proc ruin it over, which can be pretty fun. But moving target, eye of the storm is always a great option. You get more straight speed, more target acquisition, you win your gunshots better when your health gets low without the storm. Very, very good, very strong for PvP. 390s aren't the greatest, but it is if but if you do want to use it in pvp that's something i would recommend going for like i was saying pugilist and demo actually aren't terrible if you want to get some energy back and even if you want to try something like gut shot straight so you get more body shot damage it will reduce that target acquisition but you will actually get more body touch damage it's kind of like reverse head seeker i guess that could be very very fun but i think for my go-to role it probably would be moving target eye of the storm but if you want to sit in the back of the map with well rounded and get that range up you can do that as well and you can kind of just snipe people with it it can be be very good for that but again if i had to choose a go-to pvp role it for sure would be moving target out of the storm with as much range as i could get you know with something like full bore acarized rounds and a range masterwork so with that you're sitting at 78 range with a very very good 1v1 weapon especially if you put the enhanced traits on it so that is it for the smiter marine got rolled if you guys like to see the other eight weapons and you enjoyed this video consider subscribing drop a like and turn those notifications on also if you want to join my discord or follow me on any of my socials all that will be linked in the description as well but just know watching this video is way more than enough every single bit of support you all truly appreciate it thank you all so much for watching this one and have a great day peace